What's up guys, it's Ryan Eats Apple and today I'll be showing you guys um, how to downgrade your iOS device from 4.3.5 to the 4.3.3 firmware. And to start off I'm going to show you guys that I really am on the 4.3.5 firmware. I am jailbroken through Red Snow. This is a tether jailbreak which is why you should not be, um, I advise you do not uh, upgrade if you have not already. And uh, you cannot downgrade any way other than this way. You cannot downgrade the old way where you could just select your um, IPSW, hold down, shift, or alt, um, to, uh, and then just select a device because iTunes will come up with an error. So I'm going to go into my general and go to about. It just says I'm on the 4.3.5 for uh, firmware where it says version. It says 4.3.5 AL1. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in your device um, into your computer and then turn it completely off. Alright, just wait for it to completely boot off now. Alright, so once you have your device turned off you're going to want to launch uh, iTunes. Do not do anything yet um, with iTunes. So you can just launch it and you can actually go ahead and minimize it. And now you're going to want to put your device in DFU mode. And you're going to do that by holding the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, you want to let go of the power button but still hold the home button. And just count to 10. And once you get to 10, your device should be completely turned off. If your uh, device shows a, an iTunes logo, that means that you are not in DFU mode. You're actually, um, I, I think it's in recovery mode. It says I'm in recovery mode right now, but if you sh if iTunes logo um, pops up, it means that you have not been put into DFU mode correctly. So it says iTunes has detected iPhone recovery mode. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and exit out of that. Um, or just minimize it and you're gonna want to actually uh, I'm gonna take you guys to my computer now and show you guys what to do from there okay so once you're on uh, once your device is in DFU mode on your computer basically what you're doing is you're tricking uh, iTunes into connecting to the Surex server instead of the Apple server so basically what you want to do is if you're on Windows you want to go ahead and you want to open up the Windows Explorer or the libraries on um, whichever tab that is um, I just I have a I have a little tab right here on the top. So you wanna go ahead and click on local disk C, uh, open up the Windows folder, uh, scroll down to the system uh, 32 folder, open that up, and then you're gonna wanna open up drivers, and then open up etc, and then click on double click on hosts and open that uh, in Notepad. And if you're a win, uh, if you're a Mac user, what you're gonna want to do is you want to hit Finder, hit the Go menu, select Go to go uh, go to folder and type in etc. Now look for the file name Hosts, back it up and open it in Text Edit. And I don't know anything about Text Edit or anything you have to do about the Mac. I don't, I don't own a Mac. I don't use a Mac right now at the moment. So uh, I just, I just read that off the Redmond Pi site. So uh, if you're confused about that, I'm sorry. So you want to go ahead and click on Hosts and open it in Text Edit if you are a Mac user or Notepad if you're a Windows user. And you want to go ahead and click on where it says Local Host at the very bottom, the last word. Click Enter to go to the next line, and you're going to want to paste this in. Uh, it has a whole bunch of numbers, and then gs.apple.com. I will have that in the description. You can just copy and paste it from the description. And um, uh, after that, after you paste that, you want to go ahead and click save and once you have saved it you want to get the IPSW uh, that you want to down, downgrade to and this uh, I will have the 4.3.3 IPSW download in the description also because the 4.3.3 IPSW um, or the, the 4.3.3 firmware does allow you uh, to jailbreak through jailbreakme.com and if you don't know what that is I have a past video on that go check that out um, so basically what you want to do is you, if you're a Mac you want to hold down alt um, and if you're a Windows user you want to hold down shift and then click restore and you're going to want to select the IPSW where you have it at and open it up and it says uh, iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.2.3 
um, and we'll verify the restore with Apple. So you're going to go ahead and click restore, and it's just extracting software. And basically, uh, within minutes, your your iDevice should be downgraded. And uh, sometimes an iTunes error will pop up, uh, and if it does, I will have a link in the description to the Redmond Pi site, and it has a tutorial on how to get it out to um, out of DFU mode or out of recovery mode because uh, you cannot. It, sometimes the error will pop up, and it will just automatically put your device into recovery mode, so that is a risk. Uh, so unless you want to restore, um, a Redmond Pi does have a tutorial and a couple uh, couple applications to get it out of uh, recovery mode. So right now, I know you guys can't see it, but my uh, my phone is downgrading right now. It is in, in the process of, down, of downgrading. And the reason why, I don't know if I said this before, uh, you can't downgrade uh, regularly is because the fact that iTunes does not allow it for some reason. They made it so it blocks you cannot, um, unless you're on the Surak server, you cannot downgrade. It's, it's just totally blocked. It'll come up with an error. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll have all the links in the description. Don't, for, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really does help me out. Alright, you guys. Peace.